In this video, we're going to have a look at two methods for multiplying mixed numerals and two methods for dividing mixed numerals. Method one, using a rectangle. Suppose we had four and two fifths times seven and three eighths. Let's split the four plus two fifths vertically and the seven and three eighths across the top. Now let's multiply using a multiplication grid or finding the area of each rectangle. 4 times 7 is 28. 7 times 2 fifths is 14 over 5. Or we could simplify to a mixed numeral of 2 and 4 fifths. 4 times 3 over 8 is 12 over 8, which would simplify to 1 and 1 half. And 3 eighths times 2 fifths is 6 over 40, which would simplify to 3 over 20. We've now found the area of each square. We can simply add them up. So we have 28 plus 1 and 1 half plus 2 and 4 fifths plus 3 over 20. Let's uh, rearrange to have all the whole numbers first. So 28 plus 1 plus 2 plus all the fractions. We're left with 31 plus these fractions. The lowest common denominator is 20. So I'm going to convert 1 half to 10 twentieths plus 4 fifths to 16 twentieths. And then we have the 3 all over 20. We're left with 31 plus 29 over 20. And then finishing it off, our final answer as a mixed numeral is 32 and 9 twentieths. The area model is a really great tool but let's now have a look at the same problem converting to improper fractions first. We have the same problem converting to improper fractions. We have 22 over 5 times in by 59 over 8. Now they're large numbers to multiply, so what we want to do is break them down into their factors. 22 is 2 times 11, and we're multiplying it by 59 over 5, and we can split up uh, 8 as 2 times 4. We've got a 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. We're still left with a really large number, 11 times 59. With a little bit of thought, I can work out that that's 649 over 5 times 4, 20. But now I have a really quite ch challenging simplification. Uh, 20 goes into 649 32 times with 9 twentieth remainder. So the challenge here is multiplying by larger fractions, uh, larger numbers, and then doing a harder simplification. Now let's have a look at division. Method one, we can actually divide. Suppose two and a half cakes were shared equally among four people. That is two and a half divided by four. We can set it up as a fraction, two and a half over four. Now a fraction in the numerator is a bit irritating, so let's multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. Whatever we do in the numerate, to the numerator, we must do to the denominator. We're left with 5 over 8, which is our answer. Let's take a little more challenging problem. 3 and 1 half divided by 1 and 1 half. Again, we can set it up as a fraction. Uh, 3 and 1 half over 1 and 1 half. We've got a fraction in the numerator, so we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, so we end up with 7 over 3. But what if the fractions uh, had different denominators? Now let's have a look at 7 and 2 thirds divided by 5 and 3 quarters. Again, we'll set up as a fraction 7 over 7 2 thirds over 5 and 3 quarters. Now, to get rid of um, the fraction in the numerator, we need to times by 3. Whatever we do to the numerator, we must do to the denominator. We're left with 7 times 3 is 21, and then we have the 2. So I'm going to actually put a plus sign in here to do this separately. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 2. And now we've got 5 plus 3 quarters, and they're both being multiplied by 3 using the distributive law. We have 15 plus 9 over 4. Now we're still left with a fraction in the denominator over 4, so we're going to multiply the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4. So we end up with 84 plus 8 over 60 plus 9. Now this is getting into some tricky stuff. To simplify this, we've got 92 on 69, which we then actually finally simplifies in 1 and 1 third. 
You can see the trickier they are, the harder they become using this method, but the simpler ones are quite quick. So the option then would be to convert to improper fraction. Let's take this last problem and see how it looks if we just converted to an improper fraction first. 7 and 2 thirds divided by 5 and 3 quarters. As improper fraction, it would then become 23 over 3 divided by, sorry, 23 over 3, divided by 23 over 4. Now we can work here with a normal division. We could multiply by the reciprocal. And expand that out. 23 times 4, 92 over 23 times 3. You could leave it as an improper fraction or put it back to a mixed numeral.